Well hey folks, Species7 here, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Farm Sam Stack 22. <laughs> uh, can do fat for moving around in those places, I'm telling you. Alright, so we managed to get this area cleared up a little bit. At least I can get in and out of here without, well, hitting more than I expect. Okay. So, I guess, what we gotta do here... Um... Mm-hmm. Is think about, uh, harvesting some greps. And I do believe... We're gonna need to lease a harvester for that. Yes. Oh, I haven't looked. Um... Since we put them in, how are they doing? Uh, well, they got no TMR, but that's fine. A slurry, but no manure, eh? Hmm. Puberty. Poor buggers. Um. Okay, well, there's nothing we can really do about the TMR. So, we won't do anything about it. Let's, uh, let's lease ourselves a, uh, a little raisin machine, shall we? Well, at least a, a grape picker. That's all grapes are good for. So, let's uh, come in here. Let's go for grapey goodness. And uh, do I want to customize it? Why would I want it? GPS? <laughs> I don't think you really need that with one of these, do you? I mean, you know. Now... I take it this is a complete unit? I don't need any sort of separate head or anything, do I? No, it looks like it's all built into this thing, eh? Okay. Then we will, uh, yeah, we'll buy that. 240,000. Uh, yeah. Ah, that's a lot of money. Okay. $12,000. Ugh. I'm gonna make like 600 bucks worth of grapes. That's just nuts. All right, well, hang on to your hats, folks. We might stall here. No. 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 Here we go. No. One more. No. <laughs> and we're there. All right, well, let's... I've never seen one of these before, so I'm going to have a little look about here. Not that any of it will make any sort of hope. We get caught in there, wouldn't you? Bloop. Yeah, no kidding, right away. Uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I thought you got to sit down there and you sit up here. Okay. I'm thinking, hmm, it's not much of a view except out the side window. Oh, there's somebody in there. Yeah, no, not really. Yeah, man, I wouldn't want to be a grape, I'll tell you. Yeah. Looks like something used for harvesting, I don't know, moose? Anyway, let's, uh. Hi, dear. It's me. You weird, weird woman. Okay, let's jump in. Nice. I don't need anything, do I? Grape lube or... No? Okay. Let's have a look around. Well, I don't know what that does. Oh, there's a mystery. Is that even inside? No, it's not. Okay, well, I don't have to worry about it then, do I? Ah, good. They left me something to break the windows in case I freak out. Let's go. A screaming 28.30. Oh, I better look where we're going here. 40k. Holy smokes. This thing's a rocket, man. Alright. Go, dude. Oh, it's going even fast. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, hey, if you like the content, don't forget to... What is going on with my frames? Don't forget to uh, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. And, of course, if you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. No. There's uh, links below to uh, such amazing YouTubers as Old Man 102 and, uh, well, a few others. There's City Farmer and some good YouTube channels along with my uh, Patreon link if anybody cares to donate to the channel that way. So, with all of the self serving silliness out of the way, it's uh, quite a bit of kit, eh? Hey? Had a little issue when I first logged in. The picture kept going black. Like everything would be fine, and then it would suddenly, the screen would just go black for 
two seconds. I could hear myself walking around and stuff, but... Yeah. Kind of weird. So I went back in, I deleted the shader cache file, and I put my, uh... Hertzy thing down from, uh, 144 back down to 60. I told you guys, hey, three days after the, uh... Send it back expired on my new monitor. The, uh... Ooh. There we go. Okay. I have no idea how to do this. Um... Yeah, the output. Or input, whatever, however you want to look at it. Quit working on me. I had to go back to H HDMI, and I'm using a proper. Uh, actually, it's a 2.1, one of those eight uh, capable of 8K at blah blah blah. Yeah, like top of the line cable. Um, back on HDMI because it can support 144 hertz um, at 1080p easily, um, and my video card does put out. Um, I believe it's HDMI 2B, um, so it's also capable. So I'm not sure what the deal is. It may just be because I recorded the last episode at uh, 60 hertz, and that's how it. Re I don't know. That's what it had in the shader cache. That may be why this kept happening. I don't know. I just don't know enough about it. Okay. So, do I need to unfold you? Oh, I do. All right. Well, that was a good random chance. And how am I supposed to know where you go? You go right there, do you? I gotta have a better look at this thing. Okay, so that's, yeah, right between the two cabines here. So, if I turn you on, seems reasonable. Um, anything else I need to know? Turn off, open up, fold. Mm, no, I think we're good. And we've hit the thing. Okay. Oh, maybe I have to aim from further out. I don't get it. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're getting some. Okay. It's still spitting grape leaves out the back. Alright, there's 1%. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need like uh, one or two more of these, I think. Come springtime. That wasn't expensive. Each of these rows is a couple of thousand dollars. In fact, I think it was about 2,500 bucks for this length. So, you know, that's uh, seven rows. So that's like $15,000. Although I guess you do get to uh, use them a few times, right? Like this isn't something that's going to be gone once I harvest it. Yeah, you kids better run. <laughs> no idea how to drive this thing properly. Uh, what row am I going for? That one. Ooh, okay. Need to come in pretty smooth on him here. There we go. And I think we've only got the one row left at the very end. 
Yeah, who? Yeah, like I said, that's really gonna pay for the lease on this thing. I'm not sure if a regular trailer will take them. Yeah, that is, uh, that's the end of it. <laughs> that's the harvest. Let's shut her off. Wow. Just wow. Okay. Okay, I'll try and squeeze between those greenhouses again. Thank you very much. Now, the big question, eh? Do we have a pipe out? No, eh? Alright, how do I get them out of here? <laughs> F1. Ah, uh, fold. Okay, maybe do I have to? No. Surely you wouldn't fold it when it's half full of grapes. No, that didn't give me any sort of... I don't get it. Hmm. Let's look at something here. I was gonna start the engine, believe it or not. Okay. Now, well, I suppose the first thing we could do before we even bother to hook this up, let's look in here under trailers. Under the trailer we currently own, which I believe is, is it this guy? Yeah, one owned. All right, what do you take? Do you take the grape? Um, yeah. Oh, olives. Uh uh. Snow. I'm not seeing grapes, eh? So, let us go back to here, go into here. Oh, uh, you're not going to do the. Hmm. Sprayers. Oh, here we go. Grape technology. Oh. So we do need a special trailer? Really? I imagine the little one is fine, right? Hmm. And that's all you can put in it is grapes? Really? Yeah, I'll lease it. I don't know, why would I buy the darn thing? Okay. Good to know. See, that's why I didn't bother to hook that thing up. Such a little tiny thing, too, isn't it? We could probably take Speedy there. Save us some of that sweet, sweet diesel. Come on, Electro Boy. We're gonna go for a little run to the shop. Let's turn this annoyingness off. Are you running? Are you? Are you? Are you going? Oh yeah, a little light's on. Let's go. Got lots of electricity? Yes, you do. Perfect. Don't need to have range anxiety in this thing. <laughs> you know, speaking of range anxiety, so, uh, some of you that follow me may know I'm quite enamored with my electric scooter. I think it's just uh, great fun, even for a, a crazy old man like me. But it is such... It is such a fanboy-oriented market, I think would be the easiest way. You know, it's like you go looking for parts. I'm, I'm thinking of upgrading the, uh, the rear motor on the scooter. 
you know, now that I'm running 48 volt system instead of 36, I wouldn't mind having a, a motor that could really take advantage of that. You know, because um, yeah, I need to go faster because I'm young and my reflexes are like that of the lightning strike. <laughs> but uh, you know, I ask questions in the various forums that discuss these things because there is a 48 volt, much more powerful rear engine available. That is, that is just the dumbest place for that. Um, that is available for, for the, the, the 9 bot Max. And, do pretty darn good. Like, it's an awesome, uh, awesome motor. It's offered by two different places. One is kind of a, well, Max Mods, where I bought my battery upgrade. A very... You guys just don't want to hook up, or what? Oh, it's gonna be one of these, is it? Or does this tractor not have all the hookups? I'm starting to wonder about that, you know? I really am. Because everything seems to work alright. Oh, maybe not. No, this one's not going full speed. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, that's better. You know, there's one by a company called Monorim, who have been in the, uh, you know, making scooter parts for a long, long time. Um, they build suspensions for them. They build a lot of custom stuff for the, the 9 bot Max. And then, like I said, there's My Max Mods, which is basically a private company run by one fella down in Washington State. Um... So I go to ask, because there's a $160 Canadian difference between those two packages. The one from MyMax, which is $299 American, and the one from Monorim, which is, what the heck is it, like $169 Canadian? So yeah, a big difference. Um, but to try and get a straight answer out of people, you know, because everybody's sort of a fanboy one way or the other you know as opposed to well yeah i have this one and my buddy has this one and you know i smoke his ass or whatever it might be i shouldn't say that on youtube it's a family friendly thing but um okay i have the grape wagon now what give me the grapes dude give me the grapes dude dude where's my grapes I mean, I can only imagine they're going to come out the back, right? Was I supposed to tow this thing behind that? No. Start overloading. Hey! <laughs> there you go. Alright, they dump out of those things. Cool. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's that's the grapes for this year, folks. Hope you enjoyed your stay here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just, yeah. Alright. Thank you. You can go away now. Oh, no, eh? Alright, let's, uh... Let's do it like we mean it. Least equipment. You can go back. Yeah, return it. Yeah! It was, uh... For the $5,000 a minute that it cost me, it was a wonderful experience. <laughs> Come on, little bug, let's go with your 790 liters. You're off to the raisin factory. Well, we's gonna make us some raisins, man. 
we is going to make us some raisins. Alright, here we go. $80,000 dehydrator for heaven's sakes. Yeah. Woo. She had a good pivot on it. Alright, let's dump the grapes in. And let's come over here. Look at that. How can it stand itself? Yes, I would like you to please make raisins. One grape equals one raisin. Begin. Activate raisin production. Nice. Oh, I hope this doesn't put out pallets of a thousand because we won't get a pallet. Oh man, that would suck. Please don't tell me you put out got two liters of raisins so far. That's plenty. That's all I need. I just need to make a box of cereal. <laughs> Can't be more than two liters of raisins in a box of cereal, dude. Seriously, you know? What do you think? Yeah? No? I guess we can return this uh, fancy wagon now, eh? Uh-huh. Unbelievable, I tell you. I tell you. How's our corn coming? Take a quick deviation. Get our money's worth out of this trailer. I'm going to drive it like we rented it. Oh, we did though, didn't we? Okay. Oh, just, whoop. <laughs> that was a good trick. I've never... Holy smokes. I'm feeling kind of... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh. Speak into the cob. That's a... Uh, that's a pretty impressive crop of corn, let me tell you. All right, not quite ready yet, but I wasn't expecting it. Very cool. All right, let's go take our little trailer back here. Gee, that misty gray sky does a wonders for being able to see the uh, time and frames there. Lemitaya. All right, you got uh, you got nothing. Sure, you got lots, but I don't care because I buy it at the store like a dummy. You got nothing, and up we go. Freak road again. Hey, dear, I brought your trailer back. <laughs> She's still there. Cool. <gasps> that time she did it right in front of my eyes. Hey, Smokey, I gotta talk to you about your helper there, man. She's like a trip. Okay. Oh, you can't return uh, leases here? Fine. I'll do it through my tablet. Select. Return. Yes. Okay. We are lease free. Which isn't always known to happen with me. I did go for I don't know how long with that little sprayer before I finally realized, hey, that's a lease. <laughs> Wonder what I'm paying for the privilege of looking at that taking up a garage space. As it turned out, about $636 a day. Yeah. That's okay. I only kept it for like a week. Hey, boy. Alright, well, that's, uh... Yeah. 
That's the raisins. Who knew? Now, do they have... What would it probably... This, maybe. Solid fruit, seeds, lime, wheats, oats. Oh, I guess that's to feed horses. Oh, it's got a picture of a horse on it. What was your first clue, Space Haze? Oh, you can buy TMR. Really? Huh. You can buy TMR. Well. Whale, whale, whale. Now, there's no BGA on the map. So, we will have to, uh, we'd have to put our own dedicated little chaffy thing in to make our own TMR. And the other bits we have, we don't have a mixer, but we can buy it, eh? Hmm. Let's, uh... Park Mickey Mouse here. Just drift her to a stop, because that's the way we roll. And... Beautiful. Click the power switch. Grab the big booger. Go, baby. Oh. A garbage truck picking up the garbage. Kind of a nice little perk of this apartment. Garbage pickup is included free. We have a free laundry. Free garbage pickup. And it's the cheapest building in town. <laughs> That's why people are just begging to get in here. We're like, go away, you silly English knickets. Or I shall punk you again. Well, uh, they look at us really funny and go, well, maybe I don't want to live there. Which works out well on our behalf. How are we doing here? You got lots of flats of bread? No! How about you? No, 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 uh... No big bin o' raisins yet. Alright. Let's go get some TMR. Oh, in case you're wondering, it stands for Total Moo Rations, man. Or no, Tasty Moo Rations. That's what they told me. Well, I asked the cows. I didn't know. That's what they said. Oh, it's Tasty Moo Rations. Yeah. Of course, I had been sampling the local crop. Uh, might have been a little out of my head. What do we got going on here? Hmm. Whew. Yeah. There's a reason I'm the only one that lives on this map. <laughs> Everyone else fled in fear. Well, I meant to do that. <laughs> okay, TMR. Tomorrow. Tasty moo ration. Let's have some. I'll bet you it's cheap, in it? Big bags. Big bad bags. Although... It's usually cheaper... If they have it like that. It's usually cheaper by the pallet. Pig feed, road salt. 460 per thousand. What? How much were the big bags? They were only 360 per thousand, weren't they? Yeah. Well, cool. Always good to check. Oh, that's like the most? Mm. Okay. Bye. Yes. Okay. Now, I should be able to just park up alongside them. And more or less auto-load the little buggers. Get up nice and close so it knows I mean business. There we go. And... Er, there we are. We've got some tasty moo into the trailer. Oh, and another, please. 
please, sir, can I have another? No, i do it again. Yeah, I don't know that I could recover the costs of all the equipment needed to make this. Well, depending how fast they go through it, I guess, eh? Okay, there's our 8,000 liters. Yeah. That was about 2,500 bucks, eh? Okay. Let's see how long that lasts. I'm going to say how many cows do I have, but the obvious answer is not enough. At least that's the obvious answer with the chickens. As we got our first pallet of eggs after, you know, 13 months. <laughs> yeah. Something tells me we're a little shy on the old chickaroonies. Fact. Speaking of chickens, okay. Oh, so these are uh, not quite full grown, eh? All right. So we also produced three chicks in uh, 13 months. Well, that would have been three more eggs we could have had. Oh, man. Got any raisins yet? Huh? Huh? No. Hmm. Yeah, that's really gonna suck if they do it like a lot of these things that are doing pallets of a thousand Because we just simply won't get any product then We'll have to wait an entire year Okay Let's see what our darling moose think of this Hey moose What you figure man? Okie dokie. Oh. Why are they on the outside? See, I was told this is the reason you don't need a, a water trough. It's because when they're thirsty, they just stick their nose in there and it gives, it, gives them water. You know, they're treating you like a hamster, huh? <laughs> So yeah, that would uh, lead to my question is why they're on the outside affixed against bars that these guys can't get their snoots through. Somebody wasn't thinking this entire piece is put on backwards. Hmm. Either that or I don't understand how cows drink water. I assumed it was kind of like a cat where they use the front part of their body where the head is attached. Yeah, you know. I could be wrong. Maybe cows suck it up their butts. I don't know. Who am I to judge such a tang? Ah, huh, cow. Well. Alright, we'll pull forward a little bit just to keep the exhaust out of the barn there. Alright, give it to him. God, you can't tip high enough without hitting the roof, can't you? Okay, apparently. That's it? Are you telling me they're full? No bloody way. Why did it stop? Hmm. 
no capacity. Oh, is there a limit to the trough? Is that what I'm looking at here? Huh. I wonder. Hmm. Okay. Well, either way. It's just weird, man. You're weird. Alright. I ordered brown cows and I ordered black and white cows. Who did you sneak in with? I mean, you're a cutie, look at you, but... Oh, alright, never mind, I didn't know it was a secret. Good lord. You're almost as bad as the sheep, I tell ya. Oh, look, there's a... There's a sign right there that says food trigger. <laughs> oh, straw trigger. And to think I wandered back and forth. Why didn't it take straw? <laughs> because you're a moron. Okay. Well, we solved that. That is one big pooba poop. So there's like nine liters in it. Good lord. Yeah, that's much better with the grass in there, right? And they're liking it. Look at them. They know. Like, hey, that dude cares. Ah. Look to be fine fat hamburgers. I mean, cows. They're strictly dairy cows, don't worry. No animals will be harmed in the making of this video. They may be mocked and teased, but they will not be harmed. Alright, can I dump you there? My guess is no, not a chance. Yeah. Why did I know that was good? Oh, <sighs> well. <laughs> okay. Well, that's just the most helpful freaking thing, isn't it? Okay, that didn't work. What? You don't think it's a good idea? I think it's a good idea. I think it's a heck of a good idea. Hmm. How close to the... Oh, maybe not. There's all those beams. I thought it was clear in the middle. It's not. Uh, I can't dump it here. Oh, darn it. Okay, look out. I gotta go close that. I don't want the cows to escape. Okay, well... Hmm. We don't have enough trailers to just uh, leave it in the trailer, so okay. 
And we'll just bring a little loader over and uh, bump a shovel full or two in at a time as we uh, deem necessary, I guess. Can't see what else we're going to do at this point. However, I do think that probably puts an end to the 1st of September. So crops we still have to worry about. Um, sugar beets, olives, let's have a look here, and corn. So, ba -ba -ba -bum. she got corn. No, olives are first. And they should be ready when? Wrong thing. Here we go. That's why corn didn't show up. Not till October. Uh, sugar beets, October. Olives, October. So there's basically nothing left in September as far as crops go. So we'll see how it goes. I think we're... Yeah, we're 40 minutes in, so I'll end the episode here. And... Yeah. It will either be... The last day of September or the first day of October when we come back. So there you go. I hope everybody enjoyed the episode. If you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button. But above all, do take care of each other, folks. Those dogs out there, I tell ya. Get them, Dexter. <laughs> Sick my cat on them if they don't shut up. Alright, ciao for now.